Why do you think Trump keeps targeting you? Well, I think it's for President Trump to explain why he tweets uh, about me or, and why in interviews he volunteers his views on me as the mayor of uh, London. But what does it feel like to be repeatedly the target of Trump's tirades? Well, it's not pleasant when you see somebody talking about you in the way that he does, but also just, just reflect upon some of the things that President Trump has said in the interviews given to the Sun newspaper. Look, we last year as a city suffered terrible terror attacks. 14 people lost their lives. And what was comforting was the messages we received from around the world, including from Americans. But just to be very frank about it, do you think he's Islamophobic? No, no, it's not for me to say whether President Trump is a racist or an Islamophobe. That's for others to comment on. But it's for him to explain why single out the mayor of London when there have been terror attacks in Manchester, in Nice, in Brussels, in Berlin. Uh, all of us are trying to grapple with the evils of terrorism. But also similarly, you know, when, when there's been an increase in crime across our country, violent crime, you know, South Yorkshire up by 61%, Manchester up by 60%. Why is linking that with the rise in immigration in Europe? That's for him to explain the link between immigration and a rise in crime. And terrorism and you, what's that about? It's almost an obsession. Well, you may all say that, couldn't possibly comment. <laughs> what message do you hope these protests that are taking place in London will send to him? Well, you know what, I'm really proud about our city. I'm really proud about our city in the, in the sense of how we demonstrate time and time again, you know, hope, forgive the pun, Trump's fear, unity Trump's uh, uh, division. But today what I'm hoping to see across London is an example of Londoners and those who want to visit our city coming together to protest peacefully and good-spirited, uh, in a good-spirited way, uh, against President Trump, against some of the views he stands for, against some of his policies. But it's worth reminding uh, your views as well that tomorrow there'll be protests in London from the extreme far right, from pro-Trump supporters. But we may not agree with their views, but the key thing is that in a democracy, they should be allowed to express their uh, views. And I hope during the course of these two days, people see we are pluralistic. We do live in a society where people have, div uh, have diverse views, are diverse. That shouldn't be seen as a, as a source of weakness, but a source of strength. How long can you see this battle between you and Trump? If it's take place, taking place online, carry on. How long is this going to go <laughs> you know, on for? It takes two to tango. Can I just say this? You know, during the course of this morning, I've been asked many, 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 many questions uh, trying to m get me to respond in an adversarial manner to President Trump. I'm not going to do it. I'm it's not, not going to do uh, it. But I'm not interested in that. I just want to know what it feels like to be the target of the President of the United States. Well, look, I've got a thick skin, but my family, friends, people who I respect and love and love me, it's, it's upsetting for them because you've got the leader of the free world, arguably the most powerful man in the world, apparently obsessed about the Mayor of London. And, you know, I'm not going to rise to some of the things that he has said because I think, you know, I, I want to demonstrate that we're bigger than that. We're bigger than that as a city as well. One of the things I hope he takes away from his visit to uh, our country and our city is actually we aren't threatened by diversity. We don't think it's a source of weakness. We cherish it and actually we're quite proud of it.